Mariana and Bryce here. I'm from Zing Tower Academy and I've got today Chipiso here. Chipiso is a student at the Academy and they learn how to cook and bake and uh, we do skills development uh, uh, training with them. Well, Chipiso, welcome. Yes. Chipiso, tell me more about what you're going to cook for us today because I see an amazing recipe there on the screen. Okay, today I'm making an empower moringa lasagna. Empower moringa lasagna. Yeah. Moringa is the awesome ingredient in that. So what have you got uh, as ingredients in your uh, lasagna? I've got a packet of lasagna sheets. Yes. I've got the cream. Yeah. I've got a packet of mushroom soap. Soup powder, yes. Mushroom soup powder. Yes, I've got um, tomato and onion mix. Yes. I've got fresh or dried. Um, it's fresh and other dried uh, moringa leaves. Yes. Um, I've had minced, not chicken, but you can use chicken as well. No. I've got oregano. Oregano, yes. Yes, and I've got the grated cheese. Awesome. And the last three is salt and pepper. Good taste. Yeah. Amazing. So let's have a look at this. Moringa lasagna, and the students do it with passion. Am I right? Let's see. Major passion that they cook with. They love it. They love doing. They're the Ringa Ninjas of the Academy and they're doing amazing work. They're teaching also other students and people from the public how to use herbs and Ringa. And um, the, the Academy is really built on um, the Empower, the Moringa Power. That's why it's called Empower because it's not just Moringa Empower, we empower the mind, the body, the soul. So Moringa really helps to, to bring all of that. Together, and that's why we're empowering our students. Let's see health value of moringa. Now, moringa is grown in many areas and are a super nutritional tree. And look at those luscious leaves, don't you like it? Eh? It's I like awesome. It. Yeah, it's out it. there, they look good, they look like they can do something good for your body. Now, what else is there in the moringa? Moringa is high in certain important vitamins and minerals. Awesome, yes. Moringa is a protein. A protein, wow. That built muscles, eh? Yeah, exactly. Yes. And moringa is rich in antioxidants. Yes, and antioxidants, they take all the bad stuff out of your body. Yeah. They make sure your body stays healthy behind. Yeah. And in moringa? Moringa helps towards many illnesses. Yes, many illnesses. Even if you do build your immune system, right now we're all looking at how can we build our immune system? How can we become stronger in our bodies? Healthy and look after so we can be strong enough to fight the viruses that's going around. And yes, let's see what are you guys doing with your lasagna because I'm so looking forward to this. I taste the one you made the other day and it was so delicious. Let's yeah. see what's happening here. <laughs> well, yeah. I've started with um, spraying the baking uh, container with oil, cooking mm -hmm. oil. Yes, we're going to bake it with you. Yeah. The big baking uh, uh, box. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Then I've made uh, butter, so fried onions, garlic, oregano, and fine to taste. And that is a bolognese. Mm -hmm. So you know the bolognese is also where we use it with other pastas. Mm -hmm. We call bolognese uh, spaghetti bolognese because you can use the same mixture to put on top of your spaghetti. You can put it onto pasta. You can make also like a lovely layer of pasta dishes. But this one with the lasagna is thin. It's a thin base that you're using, but now you've fried it beautiful, you've um, given it flavor, and then what did you do that? What did you do after that? Um, I fried sushi on uh, sushi onions and brown beans. Yes. Then I fried pepper, um, pepper and salt. Yes. Tomato and onion mix. Yes, the tomato and onion mix. And that we call a puree. That's a puree. But this one is not a fine... Uh, um, Simmered too far to be like a tomato sauce, we still left it before it becomes like a tomato sauce. Um, and, and you can even uh, leave a little bit of onion and the tomato so it's got a little bit of crunch. So yeah. when you eat your lasagna, that you feel that there is uh, texture there. Yeah, it's texture. Yes, yes. Then I've added a, um, a half cup of water. Yes. And added moringa leaves. Awesome! Okay. Doesn't that look healthy in the center there? Yeah. It looks so healthy. That's right. Yes. Then I simmer it to reduce. Yes, you simmer it to reduce a little bit so that the water evaporates. So when you spread it 
on top of your lasagna sheet, then it's not going to be watery. Yeah. Because you don't want to cut into it and to become, you want it to be stable. You want it to be a nice consistency. Yeah. But you see on the left hand side, you watch that. That's how moringa is. Yeah? I see and we name. love moringa. It's Am I right? It's we it's love it's to drink our moringa tea. Yeah. yeah. On your dish. Yeah. 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 And my students love moringa tea. Now, the moringa tea that we make is a moringa blend. We blend and we grow our own uh, moringa. We grow the lavender that goes in it. It's also South African lavender, especially grown for our uh, circumstances here, our temperatures. And then I add rebos. And rebos is also typical South African. So it's a very South African tea that I make. And um, we are add mint. Mint into our tea as well. And that is the freshness of the tea. And that is really um, empowering for our students to drink every day. And what did you do then? Then I've mixed uh, the mushroom powder with cream. It's a mushroom soup. Yeah, yes. mushroom soup powder yes. with cream. Yes. Then I stir it till it becomes a thin. Whisk it. Yeah. Whisk it a little bit with a whisker because it's easy to whisk it. But remember, um, you didn't make it too thick. Yeah. Because if it's too thick, then you can't spoil the coffee. Yeah. And you don't want to make um, a, a, like strawberry and cream um, muffins at the moment. <laughs> We're going to just want a, a little sauce that goes uh, over the mint. Okay, and what did you do? Then I turned a lot of mint, mixed cream. After that, I laid my uh, the lasagna sheets in yes. the baking container. Yes, that and was already sprayed before yeah. the time. Then I dropped around um, two spoons, two tablespoons of uh, mint. Yes, and those are big spoons. Yeah. So you can cover the whole, uh, you know, all the sheet, the whole sheets that lay there, so that it can be a nice spread and nice and tasty layer. Yeah. And on top of that, what did you put there? Um, before we get to the top, I have just spread um, the mint with the back of the spoon. Yes. Then um, on top, I put the mushroom soup, the one I make with our uh, cream. Oh, absolutely, because yeah. that brings in flavor into yeah. your dish. So you've done layers. I done layers. How many layers do you put? Three layers. Three layers. Awesome. So you're going to actually taste it. But you know these lasagna uh, sheets? Mm -hmm. um, in our future classes, we're going to make um, moringa lasagna. Oh. Moringa um, uh, uh, sheets. Yes, we're going to okay. make lasagna sheets and we're going to make uh, moringa pasta as well. Mm -hmm. uh, because moringa is beautiful. This one is the spinach lasagna. So it's not just the, 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 the pasta. You actually add in some value. You add in extra power. And we are going to teach you in the next classes how to make um, a beautiful, beautiful moringa lasagna. Mm -hmm. And that will even be stronger because remember, uh, moringa is stronger than spinach. Yeah. It's got more iron than what the spinach is got. Yes. So it means that uh, it will be healthier. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, it's just a bit that we couldn't get now because yeah. we in this period where we can't find all our supplies. Look at the next one. Yes, yeah. look at that. That is so awesome. I, it is yummy. Yeah, it's yummy. <laughs> it's very yummy. Yeah. What, did you, what did you do with it? Well, after you've made your layers. After I made my layers, um, I just uh, grated cheese on top. Yes. And after grating cheese on top, I um, put more moringa leaves in it. Yeah, for more power, for more, more energy, power. more immune system yeah. holding. And decoration as well. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Sir. Mm -hmm. And from there, I put it into um, um, a baking oven yes. for half an hour at 150 degrees. Awesome, awesome. So I didn't bake for long. It's a very quick dish to make. Yeah. It's simple and easy to make. Mm -hmm. And it is delicious and nutritious. Delicious and nutritious. And you can freeze it also to bring mm -hmm. out the stock or sell healthy delicious meals from Empower. Yes, so you can make money out of it. So it's not yeah. just a health meal. And also bring money in for you because if you bring money in that's sustainability yeah. and you know that's what we're teaching at the academy is to be sustainable yeah. we teach you the skills to learn how to be healthy how to grow things and how to make a good life in the end of the day mm -hmm. and you know well done you did yeah. a good job and i enjoy what i tasted yes. and uh, we hope that uh, you can encourage other people out there young youth to also go out and uh, learn about cooking with moringa because you did a great job. Well done.